Hey there, I am really excited to present you my latest material created in Substance Designer. This one took me a whole day because I had to figure out how to create a decent material using the least amount of nodes. So I'm going to start with the base shape. For this I use an anisotropic noise and I'm going to warp this using a pearly noise. I'm gonna try and click on each node so you can see their parameters. So this is the base shape. Nothing fancy, just some distorted lines. Then I'm going to blur this out using a non-uniform blur. And this will take my warped lines to something more organic. Next I will use a slow blur which will shape everything even more organically. So then I have a series of warp operations. The first two are non-uniform directional warps. They both use a pearly noise at the scale of 7. But there are some differences at the parameters, especially at the warp angle. The third warp is a direction warp and it is using an anisotropic noise as the input. Now this is actually creating a sense of direction but at a much smaller scale and it is also contributing to the overall realism. Next up I have the fine details. You usually want to add the fine details after the medium details but in this specific case, adding them before made it to break some of its uniformity. The last layer of detail is the medium detail. So I used a tile sampler for this. And this basically looks like a cells one noise. But has the advantage that I gain control over some of the parameters. Like the scale random, color random and so on. By the way, I use a paraboloid as a pattern. Then I have a multi-directional warp just to break off the uniformity of these paraboloids. The directional warp is the most important node here as it conforms everything to the main shape. Then I have a blend node with the same parallel noise as before. And this will create some height variation in the medium details. The last node is a high quality blur and this is to reduce some of the unwanted fine details. The last step here is to blend everything together. I use the multiply operation. So this is the final lava shape. There is one more thing left which is the coloring process. For this material I have the normal intensity set at 10 and this is feeding into a curvature smooth node. Then I have a gradient map and I grab my colors from a real lava image. And all this is going into the emission node which will give me these nice glowing areas. Hope you enjoyed my video, subscribe for more content.